he gave me the discernment of spirits. That's why I'm I'm personally able to distinguish when it's God talking and when it's not God talking. Through a person in general, you know, I can discern and I can perceive those things. And it's just a matter of asking. Because when you ask him, he'll give it to you. And it's really simple. We don't have to really try hard to distinguish his voice. He lets you know. He lets you know when it's him and when it's not him. And sometimes it might take time to, to be able to learn that voice. It's like if you're getting to know somebody. You're not going to get to know that person right away. It takes time and sometimes you go through fire with that person and you get to know them more profoundly and even, and even love that person because they're with you through the worst times. And that's what it's been like with me and God. He's taken me through fire and He's never left me. He's been with me the entire time. And I can say that there's been times where I haven't been aware of Him. But I can say with confidence that He's never left my side and I know that. Which is why... Which is why I can say that I'm very confident in my relationship with Him and I know that He hears me. All it does take is, is faith in Him and you gotta believe in Him. It's very simple. Jesus said, if we have faith in Him, He'll make Himself real to us. And that's how it's been. Test His word, it's true. I've had faith in Him and He's made Himself real to me. At the end of the day, that's just my personal relationship with Him. And that's what He desires with humanity. But, I mean, it's, it's real sad. Sometimes we see humanity that... They just love the world more than they do Him. You know, they love the things of the world more than they do Him. And it's going to sound strong, but it's true. The world just love. I mean, let, let me rephrase it. Not the world. The world will be the world. But humanity just loves fornicating with the world. They love it so much to where they don't... They give God a chance and they know they've tasted His glory. They've tasted His presence. They've been in the presence of God. But at the end of the day, and I get it, the Word of God says that we all fall short of the glory of God. But some people, sad to say, they just love falling. <laughs> they, they just love it. You know, they excuse it as in a way of like, they want to pursue that. And that's it's a sad thing, you know. <coughs> and hear my heart on this, like, oh, there's a lot of flies out here. Well, there are little fruit flies. It's kind of humid over here. And hear me out on this. Uh... I'm very passionate about God. And to some, you know, uh, I preach strongly because it's, it's out of my love for God. And I'm also trying to watch out for them, but I've, I've realized that, sad to say, and most of them are believers. I'm not saying most believers, I'm saying most of the people that I've ministered to are believers. And sad to say they they just they um well they don't want to be helped. But I'm saying like if God brings them a genuine word and it's from God Himself, because I know God speaks through me. They don't want it. It's that pride within themselves. And it's a sad thing, and it's something that I've personally seen very common. They just love the world more than they do Him. If they loved Him, 
they received the word. They had to welcome this word, but they don't. Honestly, it's it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking because I, I see them just fade away and they go back into the world. You know, like Jesus said, the seed that's planted on fertile ground is the one that grows and produces fruit. But there is some seed that the bird comes and swoops away or the seed that is choked out by the thorns which are the troubles and the cares of life. It's in the parable of the sower. He said it. I'm telling you, this stuff's real. All that is a true story. Although it was a parable because God said it himself. It's, it's true. And that's the way things are. 